Welcome to EB Live. Join our chat with Lee Goldberg, author of the best-selling Monk original novels. We have a question from uh, two young ladies on Skype. Hi. 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 We're married, ladies. So I wanted to know. Um, usually, you know, you you write the book and then you write the TV series, or why? Um, why did you write the book after the TV series, and which do you find easier? Two entirely okay. different ways of writing. The, um, the, the books are essentially a merchandising tie-in to the TV series. The TV series was doing so well, they realized that books would, would um, really capitalize on it and attract a new audience to the show and allow us to explore aspects of Monk's personality and his relationship with Natalie that weren't being explored on the, on the TV show. Uh, sort of an extra value, added, added value to the show. Um, they're very different. In a TV series, you are showing, not telling. Everything has to be imparted through action and dialogue. So everything is, the storytelling is told in a totally different way than writing easier, books. Right? Sorry? It's easier, right? No, not necessarily. Um, it, sometimes it's a lot easier to go inside someone's head or, or let the narrator explain things to us that might be too boring to, to show dramatically on a TV show. One of the great things about working on a TV show, however, is you're working with a writer's room. You're working with a group of very clever, creative people. So if you're having a lousy day and can't think of anything, they're there to prop you up and also to stop you from being lazy and to explore new things. You have the very best creative minds right there in the room with you. When you're writing a book, you're not just writing the dialogue. You're also directing and editing and building the sets. You're creating every little detail. When you write a TV script, you could write uh, int Van Nuys Studio Day, two dashing young writers sit in front of a camera talking to two gorgeous women somewhere else. <laughs> but that's all you've got to say, and then have the, the scintillating dialogue. But in a book, you've got to describe everything. Two young men, one wearing a bright yellow shirt, what the hell was he thinking, another guy, and, and describe everything, the elaborate sets behind us and, and the lights so and the TV writing is easier then. <laughs> it's a different, different muscle. I would okay. say it's easier because I can write scripts. I could not with a gun to my head. <laughs> Good Jim answer. Does. Uh, I wish I could. I really wish I could. So yeah, I have a question here for you from the, from the chat. It's a simple question. Who killed Trudy? Oh, my gosh. Well, my joke for the last month has been O.J. Simpson uh, <laughs> killed Trudy. But, of course, that's not true. Uh, but I guess the real answer is you'll just be tuning in, uh, tuning in late Late uh, October, early November, and uh, I think, oh my gosh, yeah. when, are, when is the finale airing? Anyway, tune in this fall. Uh, I'll just hedge my bets, and, uh, and, you'll, and you'll find some answers to a lot of uh, standing questions. Uh, Teresa Murray, Monk super fan who runs the terrific Monk oh, fun page. I know Teresa Yes, Murray. she's, she's terrific. Yeah. She's given my books great reviews, so I will not say a yeah. single negative thing right. about her, and she's gorgeous. Oh, God. Um, she's wondering, uh, will there be Monk books after the... Well, she was wondering that. I've just lost the question on my screen here. But I think she was wondering, will there be books after the uh, end of the show, and will I be uh, incorporating what happens at the end of the show? I think so. Um, Andy has not told, Andy Breckman, creator and executive producer of the show, has not told me yet how the characters are left at the end of the series. So I've not yet come up with that next book. I'm actually two books ahead. They're, um, the book coming out in December, Mr. Monk in Trouble, and the book coming out this summer, Mr. Monk is cleaned out, have already been written. So they take place in the current universe, the current situation. So the first book I write that will incorporate the changes in the series, or at least the changes that, are, that uh, happened to the final episode, will be um, next fall. Um, another question from uh, the chat. In Mr. Monk and the Two Assistants, you had Sharona come back. I just lost it. Ah, do you know she'll be back for the finale? Mr. Breckman. Uh, will Sharona be back for the finale? I, I gosh, I'm, I'm, I'm torn here between how much I want to disclose and how much I'm allowed to disclose. And, uh, and it's the latter thing that's really keeping me from, 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 from being candid. Uh, tune in. Just tune in. There'll be Sharona answers uh, forthcoming uh, later in the year. That's all I can say. Oh, gosh, I feel terrible. Uh, Lenovo. Okay. Um, oh, I see a new face on Skype. Hello, sir. I have a couple questions. Um, when you first started off the seasons, did you think they would be as successful as they were? Uh, you mean when we first went on the air? Yeah. No, the answer is we had no idea. Uh, in fact, I remember, I will never forget, uh, all of us, you know, were, I'm, I'm a nervous Jew, and I guess that's almost a uh, redundancy, but, uh, and, and all of us were nervous, and 
and we had written some scripts and they were in production, but they hadn't been aired yet and we didn't know how the public was going to take to them. There was one guy in the office. He was an office assistant. I don't know where he is. I hope he's well. He's a bright guy. Rick Kronberg, one guy out of mm -hmm. a dozen people, uh, was kind of the one who was saying, you guys are all crazy. This show is going to be big. People are going to love it. One guy was just optimistic enough and had faith in the character and the premise. And he kind of knew or was behaving as if he knew. The rest of us had no idea. You started off really small and it just grew? Yeah. I, actually, I think, you know, I, I should know this. I think we did pretty well right out of the gate. Uh, although I think uh, the ratings did go up incrementally uh, as the years went by. But I think we were doing pretty well right from the beginning to our astonishment. So do you guys find your job entertaining, writing all this stuff and, um, like, coming up with ideas? It is. The, whether you're writing for television or writing for books, it is the greatest job in the world. And the best way for me to explain it is, is the way I explained it to my daughter. She was about seven or eight years old. And one day she came into my office and said, Daddy, what do you do? And I said, well, the, you know the books you read, the TV shows you watch? She said, yeah. I said, I write that. Everything those characters say and do. I write. And she looked at me and she said, people pay you to sit there and pretend? And I said, yes. And she said, you have the greatest job in the world. And she's absolutely right. I sit there and make stuff up and people actually pay me for what goes through my head. It's just astonishing to me. Um, I love it. I've dreamed of doing this since I was a kid. I still can't believe I'm actually doing it. Um, I'm the happiest guy in the world. It's, it's the greatest yeah. job there is. I'm lucky um, that I'm paid to do something that I love. Is it hard to keep coming up with new plots and stuff for our episodes or does it keep flowing? Or My problem is turning it off. You know, I, I have a hard time not thinking about plots and things. I've written those so Including many... Including it into one thing? I'm sorry? Like trying to conclude it? That's your problem? Well, trying no, my to... problem is once I'm, I'm writing, I've always got ideas. I, I, I just... I wish I had all the time in the world to write all the ideas I have. Um, it, it, I just don't have enough hours in the day. And I find myself having written so many murder mysteries for television and for books that I'm always thinking of new ways of doing murders. In fact, my wife, who's French, tells people, if I die before my husband, I don't care if I'm hit by a meteor or a bus. I want a complete investigation. Because all he does is think of ways to kill people and get away with it. You know, it's. It's great that I actually have an outlet for all of this, besides actually killing a member of my family. Oh. So is there a lot of, like, is there a lot of people working on one episode, or? You have to take that while I talk to the director. Uh, you need to scroll sure. up. Uh, there, are, there are seven of us uh, full-time. We also have a, uh, a few freelancers writing scripts every year. So yes, the answer is, the short answer is yes. There are a number of people that work on uh, constructing the outline for each episode. Usually then well, one or two of us will uh, go off and write the actual script. And then my brother, that uh, Lee alluded to before, who's the showrunner and the creator of Monk, will um, do the final rewrite on every script. Uh, I'm looking uh, at the questions here from, uh, from the chat. Someone's asking if the books are available overseas. They are indeed. They're available through Amazon and Amazon.ca and Amazon.co.uk. But they're also available in German and in Thai and in, in Spanish and a bunch of other languages, Polish. and and uh, all sorts of things. So they're, they're widely available. They're also available on audiobooks from BBC Audio. In fact, the woman who reads them, Laura Hicks, does an amazing job. She doesn't try to imitate Tony Shalhoub's performance or Trailer Howard. She finds her own, her own take. And it actually really works, and, it, and it's quite fresh. Um, someone else is asking, shouldn't there be 10 seasons of Monk? We are ending on season 8, aren't you? We are going out on season 8, yeah. And, uh, we're That's an even a, number. It's a hell of a run. Yeah, exactly. Monk would be would be pleased. I guess he'd be happier with 10. Most of us would be happier with 10. But uh, no, you can't argue with eight seasons. 